Hi, everybody. Well, if you have a cruise leaving from the Netherlands anytime in the near future that requires going through locks, I just want to warn you, your cruise may be interrupted, it may be canceled, you may end up having to go to other ports altogether uh, because of seven or eight people. That's right. On nearly back-to-back -back days, an environmental group in the Netherlands, who are basically anti-cruise ship, let's just face it, they're anti-cruise ship people, that's all they are, they're calling themselves the Extinction Rebellion. Because as we all know, cruise ships are the only reason that we're having global warming. It's the only reason. Um, and especially, especially those nasty rich cruises, cruise, cruise ships. Because apparently, uh, they're allowed to just go and chain themselves to the locks that are there, disrupt the cruise ships or and everybody else trying to use the locks, ferries, rescue boats, private vessels, shipping lanes, etc. Doesn't matter. They just chain themselves to the lock in protest of cruise ships because after all, the, a ship like the Regent Seven Seas Mariner, which holds a whole 700 passengers, um, is one of the reasons there is global warming in the world. Uh, it is an example of unprecedented luxury. That's right, unprecedented. Nowhere else on earth do rich people have advantages like people on a Regent Seven Seas cruise ship. Nobody out there owns private yachts. Nobody else out there owns private jets. Nobody out there is driving around in huge SUVs and Hummers and... and spo yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get a little upset there. <laughs> uh, but they say this is an example of unprecedented luxury that seems to be only reserved for the richest in the world. That's right, the richest in the world. The heck with those 450 crew members that are on there trying to make a living. The heck with them. They're serving the rich. They're part of the problem, everybody. And our problem is, we got nothing better to do than to chain ourselves to some locks in the Netherlands and disrupt the cruise industry. They just did it for the Seven Seas Mariner just the day before. Seven people chained themselves to the lock and forced that cruise ship to send everybody to a different port and bust them to their destinations, some of which missed their flights, some of which uh, had to change all their itinerary completely because they were heading to the wrong place. They were heading to the wrong destination. The cruise ship had to pay all this extra money for buses to send all these passengers to the different destination. And what, what did that environmentally group get held accountable for? Absolutely nothing. Because the officials said, well, you know, they didn't hurt anybody. They didn't bludgeon anybody to death, so we're not going to do anything. It doesn't matter that they disrupted commerce, they disrupted personal travel, they disrupted a cruise company's right to have business, which is perfectly legal in that country. They disrupted hundreds, uh, well, thousands, if you count the two ships together, thousands of people's passengers. They caused some people to pay extra money for no reason. They caused the cruise ships to pay extra money because of their thing. And did they get charged with any of this? Did they get charged with disruption of anything, misdemeanor, anything at all? Nope. They just stood by, let them do it, and then once it was too late for the cruise ships to do anything about it, then they unchained themselves and went about their business. Come on, Netherlands. Are you that dumb? Come on. Everybody has a right to protest. But you do not have the right to disrupt commerce and business and endanger other things. Now, here's a question for you. If one of those buses got into an accident shipping people from one port to the other and somebody died, who's responsible? That bus would never have been there had those protesters not blocked those docked. Could they be linked now 
to a, to a, to a death, wrongful death. You could make a case for it. I'm sure if I watch CSI, it's somewhere out there. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Just because nobody was hurt and beaten in a protest doesn't mean it's not illegal. Doesn't mean something wasn't being done wrong. And now you've set a precedent where it's happened two times in a row and you've done nothing about it. And some people will say, well, you know, if you just do something about it, you're going to draw attention to it. Well, they're already getting the attention. They're causing extra expenses. They're causing the interruption in the cruise lines. They're not being charged in any way. There's no disruption to them. They have, they're still getting in the news. They're not spending any nights in jail. Um, in fact, I don't even know if these people have jobs. If they have jobs and these are, they're dedicated to this crisis and everything, okay, great. At least they have a job. If they're not working, are they making money from Extinction Rebellion? That's a good question. Is Extinction Rebellion taking some of the funds that they've earned through fundraising or donations or whatever it is and giving it to these protesters who go out and spend time blocking these cruise ships? Because if you, they are, that's illegal. I don't care where you are. Imagine if I'm a company like Coca-Cola and I tell my employees, hey, on your day off, if you go over to Pepsi and chain yourself to their gates so they can't make their deliveries today, I'll give you some money today. We wouldn't stand for that. That would be illegal. You can't do that. But apparently, under the guise of protesting, you can do that. And seven people can cause thousands of dollars of extra m money for cruise lines, passengers, and everything, and nothing happens. That is ridiculous. That is beyond ridiculous. I, I don't believe that they, they're just doing nothing. They're just doing nothing. So if you plan any cruises out of the Netherlands in any time in the future, just remember, that seven, five, three, two, one, eight people can ch cause your cruise to be late, cause you extra money, cause the cruise lines extra money, which of course they will eventually pass on to us. Um, but that's, you know, strictly speaking, only because anybody who goes on a cruise, anybody, you must be ultra rich. You must be. Because these eight protesters, they can't go on a cruise. No siree. So why should you?